But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Let me tell you about my great God. Hey guys, Pastor Tim here. Hope you're ready to get your day started off in God's Word. We are in Genesis uh, chapter 41, and, and we're continuing on with dreams all right but in this case it's not a butler and it's not uh the baker but it happens to be pharaoh himself that has the dream all right two dreams in fact uh the first one uh they're very similar dreams and the first one though deals with cows or kind as it's said in the bible and uh, there's there's seven healthy cows and there's seven not as healthy cows in fact they're very starved and they're very um just look very ill and in the dream the the seven healthy cows were out and about eating and just you know uh being healthy all right and they were large and everything and and then these other seven cows these ill-favored cows come out amongst them and they devoured the seven healthy cows cannibalistic cows yeah never thought i'd see that in the bible and anyway dream number two now deals with corn and he sees seven healthy ears of corn very fruitful ears of corn and then amongst them comes up seven um, not as healthy uh, ears of corn, the thin ears of corn, the the, the um, maybe poison, I don't know if it's poison, but they're just unhealthy and they're just not right. And they, in fact, choke up and devour the seven healthy ears of corn. So these are very weird dreams and they definitely didn't settle well with Pharaoh himself. He awakes, he doesn't know what to make of it. He's asking his, his wise men, his advisors, if anyone can interpret the dream. And then all of a sudden, the butler from last chapter, two years later, a light bulb comes on in his head and he realizes, oh snap, I know a guy that can interpret dreams. He's thinking of Joseph and he goes up to Pharaoh and he says, I made a mistake. I realized my wrongs. I promised this guy. And he goes through the whole uh, situation about when he was in prison. He met Joseph. Joseph interpreted his dreams and the dreams came out, the interpretations came out to be correct. And he tells Pharaoh about this and Pharaoh's like, all right, we'll get that guy. So Joseph is taken out of prison, and you know they they gotta clean him up. He's gonna come before Pharaoh. They can't have this uh, uh this guy from prison just come up all willy nilly. They clean him up. They shave him. They put him in new uh, clothes so he can be presentable unto Pharaoh. And Pharaoh asks him if he can interpret the dreams. And Pharaoh says, "It is not I that can interpret the dreams, but it is of God. Making sure to give all the glory to God, not any unto himself." All right, he's very humble. Uh, in this manner and as we're going to see that the Lord exalted the humble all right so Joseph gets the interpretation he hears the dreams and he tells him these dreams are one even though they're two different dreams they have the same interpretation the seven healthy cows the seven healthy ears of corn represent seven years of plenty that is going to come in the land of Egypt all right we're going to be very fruitful you're going to be uh, have a lot of resources and everything it's just going to be a very plenteous time for seven years I know I keep pulling up five hand. I'm just using my hand, guys. Obviously, I know it's seven, not five. But anyway, he says the seven ill-favored cattle, the seven uh, unhealthy ears of corn represent that after that time, there's going to be seven years of a very fierce famine in the land. All right? So much so that it's just going to make you forget about the seven plenteous years before then. It's just going to be that grievous, and it's going to be something that could destroy not only Egypt, but much of the world around them uh, as well. And he suggests to Pharaoh, you need to find someone, a very wise, discreet man who can be uh, in charge of just making sure that during those seven years of plenty, you are being responsible. You're taking in and storing food in reserve to help get you through, not, not just you, but uh, the rest of Egypt through the next seven years of harsh famine that is to come. And Pharaoh hearing this he's like you know what can we find someone as discreet and wise as joseph here and he tells his advisor he's like all right we're gonna make joseph he's gonna be ruler of my house he's gonna be ruler of the land only i will be greater than joseph all right and if you just going along with the theme of dreams here if you recall this is kind of becoming the fulfillment of the dreams that joseph had uh, back at the beginning of his story back in chapter 37 and so joseph pretty much becomes second in charge of Egypt. We see the the outcome, all right, the plan of why God had him go through being sold into slavery, having to go through the servitude in Potiphar's house, and then the servitude uh, in prison, the discipline and so forth to help grow him and help him to learn uh, how to be a leader and a servant and, and, and serve in humility and so that he could get to this point to where he can 
not only become second in command, but actually do a good job of it as well. Remember, in all things, God works for our good. It didn't happen in the time Joseph wanted it to happen. Uh, it definitely didn't happen in the way Joseph wanted it to happen. But even more amazingly than that, all right, this was still just but a small part of a greater plan God had uh, for not only Joseph, but for all of Israel. Joseph getting to this point was but a small part of God's plan to, to rescue Israel, to preserve Israel in the future, not just for Joseph's immediate family, but for the, the future of the nation of Israel as well, and eventually the coming of Jesus Christ into this world. All right, God sees everything in the larger scope than man ever could. And that's why it's important for us, even in rough circumstances, even in the trials of life, to trust and have faith that God uh, is in control. God is sovereign. God, uh, everything is done for our good and his glory. Trust in him, follow him, much like Joseph did. And in his humility, God exalted him. All right, and in our faithfulness, God can bless us uh, as well. Hope you guys have a great day. That's all I got for today's chapter. Tell somebody about your great God. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless.